Hello my loves, welcome back to yet another bare naked face with Mr. Jovita. Oh my god, how long has it been since we said that line? Whew, alright then. So definitely we have something special today guys and that is Else Cosmetics is launching exclusively on Nykaa and I have this huge box of goodies to try. A full... <laughs> A full face of products. There is no complexion products in here, but on Instagram, I asked you if you'd like to see me try a full face of Elf Cosmetics, and you all said yes, and I'm happy you all said yes because I actually have never tried Elf before. So I'm gonna pop an image, a uh, video, something of what I look like, what the final result is gonna be like, so you all know what it's gonna turn out like, and I have zero clue what it's gonna look like by the end of it. So, um, don't tell me what it looks like. Let's just start putting this on my face right yeah they have sent a poreless putty primer it is universal sheer with hydrating squalane in it and i have heard a lot of youtubers say that this is a dupe for the tatcha primer now tatcha is like 50 60 i think 80 dollars or something like that and elf is <laughs> like a fraction of the price I'm just gonna rip through this, okay? Like, <laughs> I actually like the packaging. Very sleek. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Doesn't have any scent. So I'm gonna apply this just on my cheek. Right. Ooh, that feels good. It feels like I'm applying water on my face. Okay, the thing is I've never tried the Tatcha one so I can't really compare it but this I, I should say that this feels good. Now if you don't know about ELF guys, it is a beauty brand that was founded in 2004 and ELF stands for Eyes, Lips, Face and they have premium quality products for an extremely affordable price and it is very very exciting that ELF is now available in India exclusively through Nykaa. I, I really am very excited about it because they have some amazing fun launches so I'd love to try all that you know. Wow guys this really feels good. I can't stop applying this. I just like the whole act of applying this. <laughs> it's not like a silicone-y slippery thing. It just feels good and my skin has a a nice glow there, right? I'm not even a primer person, but we are off to a good start. This is the Camo Concealer Sponge. Best with our Camo Concealer. Oh, well, I don't have the Camo Concealer, so, whoa, that feels good. I'll wet this, get this nice and soft, and I'll be right back. Lord have mercy, this sponge is so freaking soft. I have to say that I'm excited, all right? So I have a little mixed concoction of foundation right here. And let's apply this to my face. And now let's start pouncing. Oh, oh my God. Beauty Blender, who? This is so soft and it is not leaving any pounce marks. It is blending the foundation right into my skin. And it's also covering a huge, large surface area like my whole neck you see this I have a feeling will be my next go-to sponge because knowing elf you also know that this is going to be affordable and because of the pointy tip right here it's also very very easy to get to the corners of your nose under your eyes man so many people have copied the beauty blender design and you know kind of made changes to the beauty blender design uh very few people have come up with their own shape and this actually i think is better than the beauty blender design because it's good for the corners it's good for flat surfaces like the face now considering the fact that this is made for a concealer let us see how this performs for a concealer i am really liking the sponge for under the eyes you guys it's just completely molding into the shape of my face, you know, on the contours and the crevices and the hills and valleys and whatnot. And it blended it out so easily. We've still got the coverage. This is love at first feel. I need backups. I need multiples. I'm kind of already panicking about what if they sell out or stop production of this. You know what? Let's see how the sponge works with loose powders. Nice. The next thing that has caught my attention is the monochromatic multi-stick in the shade Luminous Berry. This versatile multi-stick can be used on your eyes, lips, cheeks. That's what that looks like. It's a little light, little children's makeup-y. Ooh, that fresh product though. 
No fragrance. I love that. By the way, Elf is... Oh, that is very sheer. Okay, okay. 100% cruelty free and vegan. Oh, this is also quite shimmery, like a uh, highlighter. So let's just spread that out and see. Okay. I mean, that's okay. I think, you know what, if you are a fairer skin tone, this will look very, very beautiful on you. But on me, I'm not quite liking that color. Okay, I've got an eyebrow pencil. This is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil in Deep Brown. Let's get this crack lacking. I get so impatient with opening packages, you guys. I wish one of you were here helping me with the packages, you know. Okay, so that is a dual-ended brush with... Whoa! Why would you have such a fat point for your eyebrow pencil? This looks like a straight-up cold pencil. I wish it was more micro. But, oh well, let's see. Okay, not bad. Um, really pigmented. I personally just prefer a micro tip, you know, because once the point on this is gone, uh, you'll have to sharpen it, otherwise it's going to be too blunt, too fat. The product itself is decent. Is it too dark? Might be a little too dark, huh? Brushes are decent, average. Oh, we have another brow product. This is the Wow Brow Brunette Volumizing Fiber Gel. Okay, I'm just going to rip through this. Ta-da! That's a very cute, travel-friendly brow gel. Ooh! Okay, this looks very promising, okay? That's lightened the color of my brow as well. I like that making my brows nice and bushy and mm, I like it. Let's move into eyes and I've got two products right here. This is a very minimal neutral eyeshadow palette and I have a feeling this is going to be my new favorite because look at how tiny and travel friendly that is. You've got a nice deep crease color, you've got a brow bone and you've got two shimmers, a bronze and a gold. Perfect. Then I've also got a liquid glitter eyeshadow in Copper Pop. This is the bite size eyeshadow in Cream and Sugar. Okay, so the plastic packaging feels very cheap, but I'm not surprised. It's a very affordable brand. Let's see how the product is. I'm going to take a dense pencil brush and dip it right into that dark coffee brown. And I'm going to pop this... Oh, not bad. Right into my outer corner okay this is really pigmented so as a first impression I'm pretty impressed actually there isn't much of a fallout either I'm gonna take an empty fluffy brush because we don't have a transition shade I just have to buff out the edges without anything on it but it's actually buffing out really nicely can you see that I'm going to pop my finger into that copper shade and just apply that straight onto my lid and oh girl, okay. This is beautiful. This is Sparta. So I'm going to take this champagne shade and pop that to the inner corner. Okay. You know what I like about this? That it's not flaky or chalky. Do you see how there is not much of a fallout? The next time I travel, I'm almost certain that I will be taking just this eyeshadow palette. And finally, for my brow bone, I'm going to pick this shade. Usually, this is a little too peach for my liking. But since that's the only option that we have, let's see how that's going to be for the brow bone. Okay, not bad. Let's also try this guy out. We always like glitter and we hate packaging. Oh, there it is. Smaller than I expected. Oh well. Could this be a dupe for Stila? Magnifique eyes? Let's see. Oh, this is so pretty. It's not as pigmented as Stila's. This is more sheer. Let's put this on the back of my hand. Oh girl. Okay, I like this. I'm loving this. This is a precision liquid eyeliner in black and we're just gonna rip right through it because ain't nobody got time to be careful with it. This also feels very light. Let's see if it's got brush tip or felt tip. What do you guys think? Oh! That's a brush! Alright then, I'm all like pumped up because Elf, you are blowing me away, Elf. Ooh, okay, alright. This is not giving me the most opaque line, but it is giving me really great precision. But it's not the blackest we can get. Do you see how easily I'm able to draw that line? The precision I'm getting from this brush is really, really great. 
Do we wing it? I want to see how the brush is going to perform for a wing. We did both the eyes with just one dip, which is pretty crazy. All right, let's do a little wingy wing now. I wanted a baby wing and here we are. Okay, it's leaving brush strokes. Like, do you see over here? It's not, it's not the most pigmented, you see? Let me go over it one more time to see if I can really build up on the blackness. Yeah, it looks nice. You can. That glow on the cheek is pretty cute actually, right? It, it's not giving you a highlighter glow, it's giving you more of a sheen. But there are specks of glitter on my face. You know, it's more like I have Vaseline. I act actually, you know what guys? I like it. Time for mascara. This is the Length and Volume Black Waterproof Mascara. I hate waterproof mascaras. Taking it off is such a hassle. The mascara tube actually feels pretty good and sturdy and heavy. I like the size of it actually. I could really use this to get to the base of my lashes. Oh, that's not giving me anything. This mascara is good for my lower lashes because my lower lashes are pretty long. Uh, and usually with regular mascara, my lower lashes get very clumpy and it gets all over my lash line. But it's not really doing much for my upper lashes. Let's try that again. But yeah, no, it's not really... All right, let's move on to the lips now. And I've got two products right here for my lips. This is the Day to Night Lipstick Duo. This is in the shade Red Hot Red. I really thought it one side would be just like pure glitter lips. And I was like, wow. But it's actually just two regular lipsticks of baby sizes. I mean, they just look like Claire's makeup, to be very honest. One is a brighter red, one is a deeper red. Deep is for the night, bright is for the day. Then we also have the Liquid Matte Lipstick Red Vixen. Let's go with the night side because it's a little bit deeper and I'm feeling a little deep. It being winter and all. Not like it's winter here in Kerala, it's humid. Okay, you know what? I love this lipstick. I love it. I don't know how long wearing it is. I'm just talking based off of how creamy and pigmented it is. And maybe because the bullet is so small, like it's easy to get precision. And I like that it doesn't have any scent. Why don't we try applying the day part, which is supposed to be a little brighter, to the center to see what that looks like. Dude, I actually love this lipstick. It's giving me a 3D lipstick all in just one product. And I like that this whole thing is very big so I can hold it like a nice marker. I like that. I'm gonna take this off because we have one more lipstick to try. Okay, so this stains the lips, so it's gonna last on you for a good time. Let us try the liquid lipstick. Very pigmented, the color is beautiful. I've not gone in for a second dip yet and we have covered the entire lips. First impression, I like it. It's giving me a very velvet look. Let's take that red lipstick, the day side, and try and apply that as a blush. And pop this on my cheeks. Um, I mean, it's okay, right? Okay. Okay, I'm loving my face actually. It's too bad that I have to wash this all off right after filming and go to the gym. Like I have nowhere to go. We also have an e.l.f. lip plumping gloss in the shade Champagne Glam. Let's see how that is. You know what? Something told me that this would smell like vanilla and it smells like vanilla. Are you seeing that? This is so festive. This is so pretty. Damn it so much I did not expect to love it so much also guys a lot of you have asked me what I do with my gloss when I you know apply it on a really pigmented lipstick I always make sure to completely wipe it off before I dunk it back into the gloss tube if you thought we were done guys we are not even close to be done we have a actually we are close to being done <laughs> don't click out yet please don't be bored with me okay so here we have the metallic flare highlighter in 24 karat gold this looks very promising to me Ugh, girl, what? Oh, nothing is getting on the brush. Don't fail me now, elf. Don't do this to me. Why is there nothing on the... <laughs> Are you secretly loading up on the brush? Are you quitting on me too? There is literally nothing on the brush. Maybe when I apply this on my face, it'll be like, ba bam I told you I existed. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I've got a fat powder brush. Maybe that brush was just too 
dainty and feminine for this guy. He's like a bad boy. And for the very last and final product, we've got the Elf Matte Magic Mist and Set. Okay, why am I setting this? Because once again, I need to be going to the gym. But okay. I like that. There is no fragrance. It's a very fine mist. It has not left large, no, it has not left any droplets on my face at all. I really like that. So this is what my final look has turned out to be. And I should tell you that Elf actually overperformed based on my expectations. Okay, now let me quickly go through the products and tell you what I recommend to you. The Poreless Putty Primer is a definite yes. My skin just had a beautiful glow, a glossy effect right from the get-go and my skin definitely looks really nice. The foundation that I used today usually leaves me feeling a little cakey but probably because of this, I don't feel cakey at all, you know? So I really like this primer. Next up is this eyeshadow little palette can we even call it a palette i don't think so but this guy is really nice very basic very minimal and it covers all the colors that a regular brown girl would need will i call it a stila magnificent eyes dupe not really but they were definitely going there but they stopped halfway <laughs> but for uh, an affordable price are you getting a very beautiful product a metallic shimmery eyeshadow yeah you are so i like it lipstick i did not expect to like this I swear when I opened this up yesterday I was like what is this tiny little mm. but I like it I like the color I like the creaminess I like how pigmented it is I also like the liquid lipstick because it's very very comfortable on my lips so far and it had a one swipe cover the full lips kind of pigment and this lip plumping gloss I like it as well I can feel the slight little tingly feeling on my lips I don't know how much it's gonna plump my lips none of these lip plumping glosses really plump my lips but I do feel the sting but the sting is not unbearable and I like the glossy effect and finally I also really like the matte magic mist uh, my face has mattified I like the fine mist and I like how it delivered onto my face and of course what I was crying about this punch I need this in wholesale bulk I'm getting this for myself absolutely love it now let's talk about the products that did not work for me. Now this is somewhere in between. I still can't make up my mind if I like it or not. I actually like the glossiness on my cheek but I don't like the shimmer particles in there. But I like it too. But there was no colors. Guys, can you make up my mind for me? Do I like this or do I not like this? Do we like this? Oh, the wow brow. I actually like this. I don't know why this product rolled over to my bad list. If you have very unruly brows and you want a little gel to keep it in place, I like it. Now the products I did not like, this is not a shocker. I am so surprised because it's actually really hard to get a highlight or wrong. The mascara, I will definitely use this for my bottom lashes, but do I recommend this to you? No. The eyebrow pencil, guys, this is just so wrong. My brows look so wrong because the color is off, the pencil is too fat, it's yeah, nice. And finally, the eyeliner. It is really fine, it's not bad. It's kind of got a glossy finish it's not matte but you know what there are better eyeliners out there this is not like a must-have okie dokes guys uh, this is two hours after the makeup application this is what my skin looks like I'm actually really really liking um, pretty much everything on the skin you know and I just got over a zoom session with the elf team and I have a few updates with the products that we spoke about so let me quickly tell you what they are so Anna here is talking about the best sellers of elf she's talking about the primer and the concealers the concealer I did not try it now I've got some notes here let me quickly talk about them this highlighter she said that you have to scrape off like with a spoon or a spoolie you have to scrape off the top layer and once you scrape it off this is apparently one of the best highlighters out there so what happens is when they press this um, this little thing on they have to press it with a wax layer or something like that so you have to actually scrape that off and then it is very buttery very beautiful apparently now these two the liquid lipsticks and the gloss they are infused with vitamin E so they also hide your lips actually I can attest to that because my lips are not chapped or dry they feel very very comfortable and the poreless putty primer apparently is the most popular primer in the world for any brand um, including the high-end brand so that is something 
So that is everything, a full face of e.l.f. cosmetics on my face. How exciting that we have e.l.f. in India right now. So I will leave all the links right down below if you want to shop, if you want to check it out. Also, let me know what are you going to get from e.l.f. Cannot wait to read your comments down below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love you so much. If you like this video, if you enjoyed it, guys, please don't forget to give that thumbs up a huge smash and share this video with your friends and your family and whoever you can because this girl could use a little bit of help from you mm -hmm. i love you so much i hope you're having a fabulous week so far i shall see you in my next one Mwah.